How's it going everybody? John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Dirty Work as recorded by Steely Dan on guitar. Now this is an incredible song that blends elements of the blues and jazz and rock all together. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, show you every section and all the chord shapes that I would use to play this. So when you're done with this video, you'll be able to go play right along with the original recording. But before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away and put something in your hand. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some digital downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And they're just gonna make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break down this song. Let's learn how to play Dirty Work as recorded by Steely Dan on guitar. We're gonna start off with a seven bar intro. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, so we've got kind of one main progression and then a little transition bar. So our main progression here starts on the D flat chord. That's at the fourth fret. And then six, six, six on the fourth, third, and second strings. Then we're gonna go to G flat, just a standard bar chord there. Then move that shape down to the first fret for B flat minor then up to C flat. And C flat is the same as D flat, just two frets lower. As we go through this, you're gonna see a lot of these same chords just moved around the fretboard. And it really goes to show you how useful these bar chords can be. So here's B flat minor up to C flat. Then we do this little, little rhythm there. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four, E, and a one. So a little rest on four. Four, E, and a one. Okay, and then we climb up. C flat, then to C, then D flat. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. I might also add a little bit of bass note strumming, like one, and two, and a three, and bass, bass, strum, 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 bass, bass. And then on the last one I'll go and two E and a three and four E and a one and two E and a three and four E and a one. So we do this three times. And then the last time we have a D sus two. That's just lifting up there, so I get four, six, six, and then I've got the fourth fret there on the second string. I pick that melody note, and then the third string. Then go to G flat major seven flat five. Great chord. That's second fret, third fret, third fret, and then first fret. Now here I'm kind of arpeggiating, and then I pick the second string, then the third string. So, and we're into the verse. Singer comes in singing, right? Okay, so this is the first line of the verse. We're gonna play B flat minor, then up to E flat minor then A flat to D flat. So that's the same shape, right? Just moving it up, then a major shape and a major shape. Then G flat to C flat and then D flat. Now on this last D flat, it's gonna be a two, four bar. So we'll go like one, two, three, four. we go back to 4-4 four, four and we go 
So that's a little walk down there, quarter note strums on each chord. A flat over C, B flat minor, A flat, G flat major seven. Then we do the first part of the verse again. One, two, now the second time we go up to E flat minor and play. Right, then we're into the chorus there. So what I played the second time was go up to that E flat minor and we have a three, four bar, so we'll count. One, two, three, and a four. So that's just down, 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 D flat. Just two quarter notes, one, two, then four sixteen notes. Three and a four. So here's the whole verse played as one piece. And again, this is right where the vocal comes in. Three, four, and... One, two, walk down. One, two, three, four. Restart. One. Two, four. One, two, E flat. One, two, three, and a chorus. All right, for the chorus, we're going to play that same two bar progression that we used in the intro. We're going to go. times and then we'll do a one again that little two bar transition D flat sus 2 G flat major 7 flat 5 and that takes us to verse 2 then we do chorus 2 after chorus 2 we go up to an A flat and we play So that was an A flat for a bar one and two and three and four and then F minor. A flat. Again, F minor. This time G flat. Then A flat for a bar two, three, four. Then we go to E flat minor and do what we play when we come out of the verse with the three, four bar. Then the rest of the tune just fades out on the chorus. Congrats on making it through this lesson. Make sure to take your time with these chord shapes and all the different uh, time signatures and counting that goes on in this song. It's definitely a more complex song. Steely Dan had like a really deep jazz background and they were just incredible musicians. So it's a great song and a lot of fun to work on. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive exclusive digital downloads and handouts that are going to make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier. As always, leave any comments down below for future song requests. I know you all were requesting more Steely Dan, so this is definitely for you. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.